welcome everyone, a huge welcome. Um, and our theme tonight and title tonight is Going on Safari. So we're going to actually look at a thematic unit and how we can implement a unit, a musical unit that is multimodal and multi-sensory. So what do I mean about that? I mean, when I say multimodal, that we can learn in many different ways through singing, through speech, through movement, through dance, through playing instruments, through drama, through connecting with each other, multimodal learning, multi-sensory learning, using the ears, using the eyes, using the body. So using all of those different ways into learning uh, to engage the children in um, a fabulous way. All right, so here we have um, a little bit of information um, talking about multimodal and multisensory approach to engage young children. And this unit um, will demonstrate that. So we're gonna grab our sun hats and binoculars and we're gonna join the jungle safari. Um, you're going to see me introduce lots of different props. Props, are, another word for props is affordances. So again, um, a tool as a way into learning for children. Then I've put down the bottom here that this theme can pre be presented over three to six sessions. Um, and some of the parts of the theme that I'm going to uh, share with you tonight uh, can be introduced to children as young as three and four with some modifications and adaptions and up to well even eight I know I've said um, so three to six sessions for children even up to eight all right so let's begin our special theme I've got my trusty ukulele and I want you to join me as we sing Time for Music Jungle Style. 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 Let's sing together Jungle Style. Jungle Style, Jungle Style. Let's sing together Jungle Style. Jungle Style, Jungle Style. Let's sing together Jungle Style. And I wonder if we can all clap our hands when you hear the words Jungle Style. Time for music, jungle style. Time for music, jungle style. Time for music, jungle style. Let's clap our hands now, jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style. Let's clap our hands now, jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style. Let's clap our hands now, jungle style. And I want you to imagine that we invite all the children to our special jungle in our classroom. And we're going to all move around. We're going to walk around. And what else can we do on those words jungle style? I know, we can shake each other's hands. Let's shake each other's hands this time. Time for music, jungle style. Time for shaking hands, jungle style. Time for music, jungle style. Let's sing together, jungle style. Style. Jungle style, jungle style, let's shake hands, jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style, let's shake hands, jungle style. Okay, so let's have a look at the kind of process that we can use for this piece. So I can say the words jungle style and the group can clap the rhythm. And every time they hear the words jungle style, they can suggest something else. So what else can we do? Okay, we clapped our hands, let's pat our knees, let's tap our heads. 
um, then the students can move around and do various movements on jungle styles. The teacher can sing the song and the group claps only on the word jungle style. Transfer the claps to clapping someone else's hands. So you can clap someone else's hands as you're walking around. We talked about shaking hands. We can connect in some way, maybe bump bottoms, all of that kind of thing. Ask the students for their suggestions. We can pat, click, stamp on the words jungle style. We can also introduce some non-melodic instruments. Now, I have my bag, my trusty music bag, and it's got a lovely piano on the back. There we go. And in my music bag, I have lots of percussion instruments. I have tambourine, I have maracas, I have bells, I have castanets. So I will typically put something really colourful on the floor, like a parachute with lots of different colours, and have the instruments there ready. Wrap the instruments up, the children haven't seen them yet, and then invite them over to the parachute. And of course we sing a transition song, and we can sing the tidio, which is um, time for music jungle style. So the original title is Tidio. So come over to the parachute jungle style. Let's go to the parachute jungle style. Come over to the parachute jungle style. Get ready to play jungle style. And of course the children are very excited when they come around the parachute. We open it up and voila, there are many beautiful, colourful non-melodic percussion instruments. As quickly as we can, we sit down, take an instrument and off we go. Time for playing jungle style. Time for playing jungle style. Time for playing jungle style. Let's play together jungle style. And of course we can use any of the other instruments. The bell. Jungle style, jungle style, let's play together jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style, let's play together jungle style. So guys, I'm going to ask you a question. What are we actually, what are the musical concepts that we are teaching through this activity? Of course, it's listening. So we're developing the children's listening skills because they have to remember and listen for the words jungle style. We're also teaching them rhythm. So they're playing the rhythm of the words jungle style, whether it's playing on a castanet and notice the way I play the castanet, we clap the castanet because doing this is very difficult for tiny fingers. Okay, so for young children, we can clap the castanet, just a little tip. We can also introduce melodic instruments and I have over here my beautiful little glockenspiel. Now, um, it's actually set up in G pentatonic at the moment. Let me find my other bars. So the wonderful thing about this glockenspiel is you can take off the bars that you don't need. So I'm just going to pop some bars on and take some bars off. So we have a C pentatonic scale. So I know some of you may be already asking, um, what is a pentatonic scale? Um, if you have any questions at all like that, and you're not sure what a pentatonic scale is, please put your questions into the chat box. When I finish going through all of this, I'm gonna explain everything. So absolutely anything you want to know that you're not sure about. There are the notes for C pentatonic. So we've got C, D, E, G, A, C, and that's the highest C there. You can see my lovely blue mallets and um, we need to hold one in each hand and it doesn't matter where the children play, okay? So I wonder if I just put this down a little bit. Let's see if I can actually, oh, there we go. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it, okay? And I'm going to play any of these notes as I sing jungle style. Time for music, jungle style. 
Time for music, jungle style. Time for music, jungle style. Let's play together, jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style. Let's play together, jungle style. Jungle style, jungle style. Let's play together, jungle style. And then I might even clap my hands and every time I clap my hands, the children play along and they can continue to improvise on the glockenspiels. La, 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 la. If you play recorder, here is my recorder, and I'm just going to lift it up now. It's very easy to learn the recorder, and we have actually had a webinar on how to learn five notes on the recorder. You can actually play just three or four notes. And while you're playing the recorder, the children can improvise on the glockenspiel and the other non-melodic instruments. So beautiful music making all around. This is a lovely way to introduce the jungle theme and let's keep going I don't know why there is a big um, pink mark over my beautiful PowerPoint oh oh well so now it's time to come along with me on safari are you all ready to go yes come on we're all going to join the safari now I'm going to just pop the the camera down so you can see uh, okay let's see how that goes all right so I'm going to say to the children right I want you to click when I click let's say if it's really young children I might say let's clap when I clap but this time I want you to click when I clap when <laughs> I'll say that again click when I click here we go going on safari can you come with me hey Going on safari, hear the jungle beats. Hey, elephants, lions, tigers, what have you found? Hey, going on safari, jungle sounds. Hey, okay, so you can't see that is stamping. All right, so we've got these different sounds. We've got patting the chest. We've got the haze. We've got clapping. And we've got padding on the knees. Okay, so basically I say to the children, I just want you to click. What word did I click on? And of course they all say the haze. Excellent. The next thing is, I wonder if you can stamp your feet with me. All right, here we go. Going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going on safari, hear the jungle beats. Hey, elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Hey, going on safari, jungle sounds. Hey, okay, so we gradually add more and more. So we started with clicks, we've done stamping, I might say now can you add the knees, the chest and last the claps, okay, and you ask the children what they'd like to add. So what we're doing here is the rhythm of the words. Okay, the rhythm of the words. All right, let's keep going. So that's how I would introduce the piece, through speech. Then speech and body percussion. And now um, here's the process. Tell the story, we're going on a safari and make it really exciting. Not just, oh, we're going on a safari. We're going on a safari, guys. We're going to meet lots of jungle animals. We're going to go to the jungle and... We're going to have a picnic in the jungle. We're going to have so much fun. It's going to be a musical adventure. Okay, so really get into the mood. Um, body percussion and movement. Ask the group to click. There you are. So I've just said all of that. Gradually add more and more things. Okay, so let's keep going. The next thing is we're going to have a fact-finding mission because we don't know very much about the jungle. So I have my special jungle box <laughs> and I take my jungle box 
and we are all in a circle and we pass the box around on the beat as we say the rhyme okay so here we go going on safari can you come with me hey going on safari hear the jungle be hey elephants lions tigers what have we found hey going on safari jungle sounds hey and whoever that goes to that person they then are the ones the lucky ones excuse me who can open the box and see what's inside so we all have a little drum roll <laughs> open the box and let's see what we might have Ooh. What do hippopotami say to each other on their birthdays? Now, of course, if you're doing this with three and four-year-olds, you will need to read it out to them. Okay, so again, what do hippopotami say to each other on their birthdays? They say, can you see that? Hippo birthday! Okay, fantastic. And so we've got lots of jokes and fact-finding sorts of um, questions and answers. So what is here? We've put some in the PowerPoint here for you. What is the snake's favourite subject? History. What's a frog's favourite drink? Coca-Cola. Where does an elephant pack his luggage? In his trunk. Okay, kids love. If you can combine, literally combine, uh, drama, visual arts, laughter, fun, as well as all the music that you're doing, the speech, the singing, the moving, the dancing, uh, the playing of instruments. Children are totally engaged through that multimodal and multisensory approach to learning, which is the best way to get those children's brains firing with fireworks through the brains to help the brains and the synapses um, light up, the brains light up and the brains grow through this kind of learning. All right, so fact-finding mission. So it's all there um, and we will have notes for you as long as you type in your name and surname into the chat box and you're here with us for the duration. Um, don't forget if you have any questions at all to type them in the chat box because we'll have time for questions at the end. All right, so this is a very specific process. We are scaffolding the learning, starting with very simple steps and gradually building so that by the end of the process and the end of the theme, the children are doing very complex, very complex things. Okay, flashcards. I then introduce flashcards and there's five different colors. So because I had five different sounds, I have going on safari, then the knees, can you come with me? Going on safari, Stamping, hear the jungle beat and the haze, the clicks. Clapping, elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Going on safari, stamp, jungle sounds. So there's actually five different sounds. So we've color coded them with different colors because the, again, the more ways into learning, the more opportunity all children will have to master all of these skills. So I have flashcards and I want to show you I took a photo of them for you just so you can see so there's the flashcards and the in the different colors so I put them up um, on the whiteboard and even if the children aren't reading they recognize the colors so if they're not reading I'll say okay uh, let's see um, Jordan in the front row Jordan what color would you like to choose? So he would like to choose green, fantastic. So Jordan, it says elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? What kind of voice would you like to make for those words? And he might say, I'd like to say a low voice, a deep voice, okay? So we do all of the body percussion and then for the green part, or if the children are learning, uh, reading, I should say, then they can read those words and make a very low voice. So it'll sound like this. Going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going 
going on safari. Hear the jungle beats. Hey, elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Hey, going on safari. Jungle sounds. Hey, now by that stage, there's Ellie um, and she's got her hand up and she, ah, ah, me, 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 me. She really wants to say something and oh, Ellie wants to say, um, hi voice okay so we talk about the different kinds of voices we can we can make singing voice uh speaking voice we have high voice low voice we have uh, maybe an accent we can make an accent with our voices we can express feelings and emotions with our voice we can have a happy voice a bright voice a sad voice there's many kinds of different voices we can make so we're really exploring all of those things as well as saying the rhyme about 37 times in many, many different engaging ways. Okay, so it's all colour coded. Um, if the children are reading, they're learning. They're also learning about the form. And music is all about sequences and patterns. And look at this. This is a perfect pattern and sequence. So I might actually do some analysis with the children and I'll say, okay, how many blue cards can you see? Oh, there's three. Are they all the same? Yes. Same colour, the same words? Yes. Okay, so we can actually analyse this. So, um, and that's very much part of the curriculum. All of these things are part of the curriculum. So, let's keep going. So, they've, they've done that for a little while. And uh, the next lesson, I will introduce my trustee plate cup and chopsticks now i don't just say here's my plate cup and chopsticks i make it really engaging so let's say it's the next lesson and i will have the 25 plates cups and pairs of chopsticks all hidden inside a beautiful bright piece of material and then we'll all be in a circle we'll of course start with it might be um our jungle style song again. We start with that. We get them, um, all the students grounded and being in the present moment. And I might say, okay, um, Natalie, come out and you might like to put your hand into the material and have a feel and maybe you can tell us what might be in there. Okay, so I do a lot of things inside boxes, inside bags, inside materials. So not only listening to sound makers and instruments inside those things, but also feeling things. So that tactile um, sense is so important as well. So we're really building on that sensory um, approach completely. So Natalie goes in there and she's feeling, oh, I can feel a cup and a, on a plate. And then I say to the children, oh, why would we have cups and plates and of course because it's time for the picnic in the jungle that's right so we hand out the the plates and the cups and the chopsticks and i always sing a transition song so it might be something like um time for a picnic a jungle style and i'm singing while i'm handing it out Okay, and I might even have some uh, helpers that are handing them out as well. Okay, but everything is sung, lots of transition activities. Okay, why would I use these things? And the reason is because found sounds are very, very important. First of all, they teach us that we don't only have to spend a lot of money to make music. Okay, we can make music and um, find things that are actually things that we're using, things in the environment. So this is what we call found sounds. It's one of the media that we use. So we have spoken the rhyme, we've um, done body percussion to the rhyme. And so this time you'll see what else do we need to pack? We take our, we take our cup plate and eating utensils. So we handle that out. And in small groups, we're going to work out a different song that you can make with your cup plate and chopsticks for each flash card. So I give a few examples and I'm just going to put the camera down so you can see. Okay. So maybe it might be something like this going on safari. Can you come with me? 
Maybe that didn't work so well, so I might try something else. Going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going on safari, feel the jungle beat. Hey, elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Hey, going on safari, jungle sounds. I'm just giving lots of examples. So you have to experiment. That didn't work so well, but there's sound here. There's a different sound here. Maybe you do some scraping along the plate. Okay. So then I literally, I've got to give examples. So give examples and then I divide the children into groups. Now, if you're working with the very little ones, I would probably have an adult. Um, and of course, if you're in a three-year-old group or a four-year-old group, there's at least two of you and often there's parents as well. So have an adult with each group. Of course, with older children, we want to get them to a stage where they can work in small groups independently. That's, that's the, the goal, the um, ideal goal. So um, they go off into small groups and you move around and see how they're going and see what different sounds they can come up with. And then we hear a few. And maybe you just do one or two sounds to start off with, which is absolutely fine. Okay, we hear a few. Um, an extension, of course, is then to use some, um, I've got melodic instruments, that should be non-melodic instruments. So I've put some suggestions here. So going on safari could be just as an example, and please, you, you can choose anything, claves. All right, it might be tapping the cup. Can you come with me? Shakers or guiros, and we can scrape the side. Maybe scraping the side would be a nice sound. Can you come with me? There we go. Um, now the hay. I want to show you a vibraslap. There's a picture of a vibraslap there, and here's one here. The children love something really, really very special like this. So it's called a vibraslap because you slap and it vibrates. So you can either hold it with the handle here, like this, or like this, okay? So that's a vibraslap, fabulous for the hay. Going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going on safari, hear the jungle beats. Hey, okay, you get the idea. So there's just some um, suggestions there for non-melodic instruments that you can use as well. But of course, the idea is, that you have a range of uh, non-melodic instruments, let the children choose which instruments they want to play for which sounds. That's, that's what you want, creativity. Let the children use their own creativity and work it out, problem solving together in groups. All right, so let's keep going. Um, then we sing the song and I might, I'm just gonna put this down. Get them to do a little ostinato. Jungle beat, hey, jungle beat, jungle beat. And while they're doing that, going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going on safari, hear the jungle beats. Elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Going on safari, jungle sounds. Jungle sounds, jungle sounds, jungle sounds. That's the ostinato at the end. Okay, and I, I obviously took the pitch up then just to make it a little bit higher. Okay, so we sing the song. We can create a nice little ostinato on our cups while the children are listening to me and then they can join in. All right, I just want to whiz through this. Now, um, there's so many other aspects you can add. And I love to add... Um, Chinese number notation. So I actually put out a jigsaw puzzle with these flashcards and they're color coded as well. Um, I'm not going to speak too much about the Chinese number notation. If you want to know more about it, ask me and I'll explain in the question time. But basically, instead of uh, letter names or instead of notes on a stave, we have numbers. Three 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 two one six 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 one two three 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 two one six 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 five six, and then here's the second part: one one six one one six one one two three 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 two one six six three six. Now it's quite um, 
uh, a high skill and it will depend on the age and experience of your children. You're not going to do this with three and four year olds and probably not even five year olds. Um, it really depends on their experience and background. Um, but a fabulous way to, um, a way into reading and we can use many different ways into reading. I'm going to keep going. All right, we do a dance. Walk to the left and clap on hay, very simple. Walk to the right, clap on hay, walk in for four, walk out, turn around and clap on hay. So we all do the dance together. Again, we're reinforcing, we're reinforcing, we're reinforcing the song. Now we've done it 53 times. We know it really, really well. We're singing it, we've got all the actions and so on. Next, um, animal stickers. So our lovely Creative Everything organiser, uh, the one and only Janie Webb, has done all these beautiful stickers and they're colour coded. So they have a border and there's four different colours on the borders. So you can see on the slide, there's red, green, yellow and blue. Now, um, it's just classified into large animals, medium sized animals, smaller and then very tiny like little insects and so on. So basically, um, I have everybody close their eyes, put their hands out and we hand out a sticker. Everybody close your eyes, you will get a big surprise. No looking, no peeping. Everybody close your eyes, you will get a big surprise. And I walk around and that's a, an example of a uh, transition activity. Or maybe I just sing, um, going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, I just sing it over and over and over again because it's patterning in the sounds into the children's ears and into their brains. So maybe I just do that, okay? But there's a few different suggestions for you. So they all get a sticker, they're very excited. And of course, they're not going to be opening their eyes and looking because they're not gonna get a sticker if they do. Woo, fantastic. Really great classroom management, these techniques. Really great classroom management. Okay, so we then um, do our, we put the sticker on and we can find the other animals in with the same coloured border. And I ask the children to very, very quietly without speaking, go and walk around and see if they can find the other animals with the same coloured border as them. And they all get into four different groups. Okay, it's a wonderful way. Uh, to get the children into groups without them always choosing their friends. So they're in four different groups and we can sing and dance in unison again. And then if the children have enough experience um, and they're old enough, we can then sing and dance in canon, okay? Again, with the little ones, you can do it with three and four year olds, but I would suggest having an adult with that group. Okay, so maybe you might just start with two groups. All right, let's keep going. Then we have, we finish with a final musical celebration and performance. And these are the kinds of instruments that we use. Xylophones, glockenspiels, um, those of you that are lucky enough to have marimbas, that's fantastic. So we play the instruments and we can learn the ostinato parts on the instruments. So I have, I'm just going to get my xylophone. I've just got a small xylophone. And let's see if I can put the camera down so you can see that. Okay, and I'm going to take out the C, and it's a bit stiff. Okay, and the F, and then the C. Okay. This is in G pentatonic or E la pentatonic. Going on safari, can you come with me? Hey, going on safari, hear the jungle beats. Hey, elephants, lions, tigers, what have we found? Going on safari, jungle sounds. Okay, so. We learn this ostinato. There's another one. Um, hear the jungle beats, hear the jungle beats. In fact, any of the different phrases can be an ostinato. So depending on the age and experience of the children, we can teach uh, one or more of those ostinatos or even just play one on our own. Okay, so 
Then we can, there's um, some instructions there, we can also introduce the lovely glockenspiel and we can improvise just like we did for the time for music jungle style but we have to set it up in a G or a E la pentatonic and the children can improvise on the glockenspiel. So you can have a grand performance. Some of the children can play the ostinato. We've got some children improvising on the glockenspiel. Some are playing the vibra slap. If you're teaching the recorder, you might be doing it with grade threes, for example. We can have some children improvising on the recorder or you can improvise on the recorder. Um, and we can have dances as well. So depending on what the children are doing, you can have all of those different areas.